Hello guys, Tom Yone here from Estratech and welcome to my Python Jungle tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue with our business portfolio website. And in this lesson, I'll show you how to get sweet, beautiful template for your website and how to configure your HTML template. Let's get started. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And also leave your comment at the comment section thank you guys this is where we stopped so the next thing we're going to do now let me just show you where you can get some free templates so if you go to google let's just go to google.com and let's search for free html templates all right i found this color lib interesting they have some cool templates so if you go to their the website you can go to the free team session free html templates the last one the last on the drop down list click on it okay so these are the free html templates you can click on the second one which is interesting so all right so this is where you can download you see the templates it's quite interesting so but look at what they said the author is this release this and it's licensed to cc by 3.0 so you cannot you cannot remove this from your footer okay so to download you click on download and download it to your computer so let's download this <coughs> i'll show you how to configure your template so you wait for it to be downloaded and let's just save it on our desktop so if we wait for it to download and we'll just go to our desktop So this is it on our desktop. So the next thing we're going to do is to is actually a zip file. So you you double click it to unzip it and extract it to the same location. So wait for it to be extracted. So if you open it, web hosting service. Okay, so all these our HTML files <coughs> which we go into our templates directory that we created in our web then if you click on if you check inside the assets all these other folders you see here like your css folder jungle consider all these to be static files and your fonts they are all static files your images they are all static files okay js they are all static files and the scss they are all static files so what we're going to do now is I'm going to use the the template I designed. I don't want to make use of this, but to make use of this is just the same thing, the same process. So you have to open the folder, the directory that contains your Django app, and it's in our drive C. So we'll go to drive C and locate it, which is Niger Webs. Okay, this is the folder one I want to use which is inside the same drive C. So I'll go to my drive C and it's called portfolio. So you can see that you still have all the HTML files and my static files. So let me just place these two side by side. And this is what I'm going to do. All right, so, but before we proceed with this step, let's go back to our text editor and create a static directory to hold our static file so the static directory should be on the same level with our project directory and our web directory so to do that click on the the directory that you created on your on your on your c drive while you were starting the project right click on it and click on new folder to create a new folder we'll just call it static mind you've already set up our static Tell, we've already informed Django how to locate our static files in our settings.py but I'll see, uh, show you that so now we have the static directory on the same level with our 
project directory and our app directory so i'm going to create another folder inside the static directory that should have the same name as our app directory so to do that i'll right click on the static directory and i'll create a new folder i'll call it web which is the same name with our app directory so inside this web now that's where i'll put all our static files so i'll go back to my desktop and that way this is this this is now my the project jungle project directory i'll go to static you can see the static here now, and inside the web i created i'll copy all my static files which is which include this scss the js the images and the css I'll just copy all of them, Ctrl C or right click and copy and come here, I'll paste it. Okay, and all these other full files, the HTML files, I'll right click to copy it. Then I'll go back upward to the top level, to the top level. And this is going to be in our web, the template directory that we created. Where we have our home.html so i'm going to paste everything that we copied there okay so now we can close this and we'll close this so we now have our templates and everything inside our project so if we click on the static you can see inside the web we have our css and our images okay so what we're going to do next is We've already set up our static. Uh, conf we've already configured our static in our 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 setting, which was in our app. If you go to the setting, if you scroll down to the bottom, you saw how we set up our static files to tell Django how to locate our static files. So that what this means is that if we don't configure our static using Django uh, tags, we will not be able to get our static files on our website. So if we go back to our views and I want, I just want to display, I want to change the home to index.html. Okay. But before I do that, I would like to, you know, there are on your website, there are page, some pages that will have there, have the same information. In fact, virtually all the pages should have your navigation menu and your footer. So how do we, have our navigation menu and our footer on our pages without having to put them individually on each of those pages so we have to jungle have a method that you can use to set up that so we're going to create a new file inside these our templates and we'll name it base.html so i'm going to create a new file i'll call it base i'll save it as base.html base.html and I will go to my index, which is my home page. I'll copy everything I want to be on all the pages from, I think, the navigation. You know, your slider sh should be on only your home page unless you want to have your slider on other pages. But since this that website we have, let's go back to the website and check it again. So this is the website. On this website, this, sli this slider is on only if we check the about page. The about page is just uh, we don't have a slider here, and if you check the contacts page, the contact page is just it doesn't have a slider. So, but we do have our navigation menu and our footer. Okay, the footer should also be here. Okay, so the about page. the footer should also be be here so what we're going to do now is we'll go back to our text editor and copy from the end of navigation bar upward to the very beginning and we're going to cut everything from in there and we we'll go back to our base.html that we created and we're going to paste everything here okay so this is going to appear on all, all our pages we'll do the same thing to our footer go back to the html dot index dot html file and scroll down to the footer session the footer, footer session should be done down down 
Mais on fout un session. Fout ça. Ok. Alright, so this is the, be the beginning of our footer, and we're going to put more the JavaScript files, everything down to the H the end of the HTML dot F uh, end of the HTML tag, and cut everything. Okay, so we are left with only information that only appears on the index.html file. That's our front landing page. So we'll go back to the base.html, and below the first one we copied. We're going to paste everything there. All right, so now we now have this, the footer, and the menu. So, but then each other, each each of those pages, the information that should appear should be in between here. So Django have a way of putting the information in between these two sections that we just copied. So to do that, we're going to use a Django tag, and this is how Django tag comes. Parenthesis then percentage sign and what we'll do we'll call this block content so this is the start of the block content and in between this block content that's where the information on each of those pages will come so i'll end the block content or just say end block end block end block so our control s save this now you can see that we have static files on this on this uh, base.html page so to to inform jungle or to help to let jungle know that there are static files on this page and how to locate those static files we need to include we need to add the static file tag at the very top of the page so we just use our jungle tag and we just say load static like this and control s to save this so here now we need to this is inside here now that's where all the pages will come so we need to add the same thing to all each of those pages at the top and the bottom of the content that should be on the pages so if we go back to our index.html we also need to include the base.html that we we just created so we'll come at the top here and we use our jungle tag and we extend extend extends base.html okay contrast to save this and we also need to because there are static files on this page you also need to add our static tag so to do that we say load static and thereafter we now add our contents block contents block contents to wrap it wrap the content of the page and to automatically add it after in between the the menu navigation menu and the footer that we created so we end the block content here we say end block so control s so save that so now if we go back to our terminal to run the server everything is cool now okay let's go back to our terminal the server is already running so it's okay but if you want to break out and run it again we can equally do that break out control c to break out and we just run our python dot python manage dot pi run server so let's head back to our browser and this was our web page that we created so what we need to do is just to okay i if we refresh this it's not going to work because we've not informed the view we've not changed what we have in the view so let's go back to our views.py and instead of home we are now using we are now using our index so we change this to index and the template name now is index we don't want to use home anymore so control s to save this and we also need to inform our urls now we've changed so we tell the url that this is index and not longer home 
so this also is index Control s to save this and with this we'll go back to our browser and we'll just refresh the page and you can see this is the website okay you see that uh, the static files on this website are not showing okay like our local uh, logo bootstrap files or CSS files or images they are not showing because Django cannot identify Django cannot locate them so to, we have to configure all our links our images or hrefs for it to be able to locate this okay so we're going to do that in the next lesson my time is fast spent so don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next lesson